serious games focus on achieving a specific purpose that goes beyond just entertainment and fun. This generally means that they must realize a business purpose and achieve some economic gains. Even traditional games now must become more commercially focused as they move to the mobile platform where the business model has transformed from an upfront cost for a game and subscription payments to an in-game purchase through premium and freemium models. In essence, the game has become the business model, and therefore traditional games share many of the business model objectives of serious games. The problem game designers face when creating the economic incentives that must be tied to game mechanics is that people rarely act as traditional economic models suggest. We are not all rational economic actors always seeking to maximize our wealth and utility. In fact, the new field of behavioral economics combines behavioral psychology with economics to reliably predict our irrational behavior because we don't act as rationally as often as we think. While there are dozens of insights of how we violate traditional economic theory when we react to economic stimulus, here we will just focus on a handful that can be easily designed into a serious game to improve the outcome and performance of the game. So let's share an example of a serious game and app that successfully incorporates many of the behavioral economic principles to successfully change behaviors. United Healthcare is the world's largest health insurance company, and they recently launched a highly successful serious game that pays their insured customers $1,500 per year for daily healthy behaviors that will lead to lower overall health care costs. This is how the game works. They provide every customer a digital pedometer like a Fitbit to wear 24-7. They measure three activities daily. Frequency of activity, getting up at least six times per day and taking at least 300 steps to avoid being a couch potato. Intensity, doing at least 30 minutes of highly vigorous activity each day. And tenacity, doing at least 10,000 steps per day. For each of the first two activities, they pay you $2 per activity for a total of $4 per day if you do both of them. If you do these every day for a year, you can earn $1,500 in cash contributed into your HRA or HSA. This serious game employs the following behavioral economic principles in its design and mechanics. Loss aversion. This is the tendency to avoid loss or even the chance of loss, aka FOMO or fear of missing out. If you don't play the United Healthcare game, you miss out on getting $1,500 for the year. Maintaining intrinsic focus. Improper reward systems can turn an enjoyable activity into work. The United Healthcare game will often incorporate activities and challenges that employees engage in to create an internal desire to play. Scarcity and urgency. This is the tendency to overestimate the value of an object with limited availability. The $4 per day is only earned if you do the activity within the 24-hour time slot and with the necessary frequency. If you don't, you forfeit the money. Commitment. This is the tendency for people to be more likely to act if they have previously agreed to act and for them to be more likely to act on subsequent requests. To participate in the United Healthcare program, you have to sign a contract and make a commitment. Only after promising to play do you get the digital activity monitor. Sunk cost. This is the tendency of past decisions to affect future decisions even when no rational reason exists. Once a player has invested in a game, whether it be money, time, or effort, it can be irrationally difficult to stop playing because it makes the investment seem wasted. Once you've started playing the United Healthcare game and have earned money that's paid quarterly, you have a desire to see your balance continue to grow. There are other behavioral economic principles that United Healthcare could have added to the serious game to further enhance its effectiveness. Pseudo certainty. This is the tendency to treat uncertain outcomes as certain or to overestimate the value of chance. Introducing uncertainty can incentivize players to invest time into activities by making the uncertain outcomes more desirable. United Healthcare could add some uncertainty around additional surprise rewards and raffles that players could purchase with earned dollars to increase the value of your rewards. Paradox of choice. This is the tendency of people to see an increase in the number of potential choices as positive, even though it makes choosing more difficult. United Healthcare could allow players to make other choices regarding the activities they could participate in or ways they could spend their money. Variable reinforcement schedules. Irregular reward patterns tend to maximize the repetition of an activity. If you ensure that players know what to do for a reward, or at least if they think they know what to do, but make the time between rewards variable through uncertainty or other means, 
players will engage in the activity thought to provide the reward far more frequently than if the reward were given at a set or predictable rate. Here, United Healthcare could provide greater rewards based upon different activities that the player could do at variable times in the day. The IKEA effect. This is the tendency of people to overestimate the value of something that they contributed to creating. Customization of any sort can enable a sense of ownership within the player. This is especially true if the customization takes some degree of effort. A possible application of this principle by United Healthcare could be to allow players to customize their digital pedometer to their own style or create a digital avatar on the app that represents them and changes in strength or look based upon effort. Thanks for watching. Please look at the video description for links to exercises and other resources.